well, no, we need to head to the Phantom Town first because we need to drop off um, all of our uh, uh, all of our hard-earned gill, some much-needed uh, extras. Aha, shield dragon. Now the shield dragon was the thing that was a really nasty foe, but we do have to spell now. Oh dear, uh, both our healers are uh, currently not silly. That's not don't, don't. Oh. I cast Libra. Not. Oh dear. Oh! Damn it! And Len is dead. Oh, everyone's now not silly. Wonderful. I think we can safe to say that this is quantifiably known as silly. Uh oh. Right. Oh. Party was defeated. You know, I honestly thought I would. I would actually be fine, but uh, where does this stick us? Ah, oh, it sticks us back here. Oh, let's actually save it. Oh no. Actually, the game... It's not too bad. There we go. So yes, those um, shield dragons are, again, nasty. Th oh, no, no. There we go. Right, third one. Well, seeing as we now have the ability to get all of the weapons, it doesn't really matter which ones we get. This is actually quite a nice little way to get the best items, also hidden items, is to have sort of an ongoing quest, uh, side quest such as this. Right, so that is nine of the twelve acquired. And here's the last one. I 
I mean, I know we don't really need to do all this, but and the completionist in me kind of wants to do it. Gaia's Bell. Oh, sorry, the Gaia Bell, not Gaia's Bell. And then the last one is this one here. There we go, that is all 12. So with all 12 in our possession, I think we are more than ready to take on the Void. Oh, oh there was an earthquake down south. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, um... Uh, no. That's definitely not good. So, oh, uh, apparently we've now merged with this person. Uh, oh god. Um. Have we glitched the game? Have we legitimately glitched the game? have it all. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah. Quality game, Square. Quality game. Right. I'm going to go fix this. Fails, boot the game back up. There we go. That was easy, wasn't it? Oh, we don't have the uh, things anymore, which is always good. And yep, got the Holy Lance. Right. So apparently there was a giant earthquake. So yeah, just when I thought we were ready to head off, we've got more stuff needs to be done. Let's get some items here. Oh no, the items are over in the inn, aren't they? Of course we get that. Oh, look at that. Well, we could buy more elixirs if we want. Let's buy more of these. Oh, we don't want these, because... Get another twenty. More general stuff. 
Sun Phoenix Sun should be fine. So yeah, we should be perfectly suited for whatever's going to be happening. Let's just save it. And let's head underwater! So, well... Hmm. See, apparently something has happened, but, uh... Oh! There we go. Uh, have the dwarves actually just decided to, um, to cause incredible harm? Oh! Hey! We finally arrived! Mysterious place of mysterious mysteriousness and mystery. Oh! What the heck are these? War is spirit! Oracle! Ah! This must be the bonus dungeon that was added in for the Game Boy Advance version. I just know that the Steam version had it as well. Gladiator! So for those who are not aware, uh, the Game Boy Advance version of Final Fantasy V actually added four new jobs. Uh, Cannoneer, Oracle, Gladiator, and one more, which, of obvious reasons, we've not seen yet. But the question is, where did these shards come from? Oh, there you go. It's a travelling merchant! <laughs> Yay, g good job, travelling merchant. Um, Nice to know that you're on top of the ball as anything. First are oracles. They have the power to predict foretelling harmful or harmful phenomena that will happen to themselves to those around them. All these can be predicted and made to befall enemies. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Higher ranks take longer to come true, but have more drastic effects. Gladiators. Gladiators fight like a born with a blade in their hands. Blade Brit's technique and their finishes, they've got power to take down any foe. And cannoneers. Explosive actors use the ability to combine, so always get the most bang for their buck. Cannoneers use ca let's can no, combine, let's cannoneers put together ammunition with various other items. Interesting. Cool. Oh, that's really useful. But I said that there were three. We are missing one. Doesn't seem to be working. It's pitch black inside, you cannot enter. Thanks. Doesn't seem to be working. I wonder if we have to come back here at a later point. But anyway, uh, the final one that we have yet to get is... Um, is a thing called the Necromancer. A really, really um, powerful thing which basically goes... Yeah, you know, the whole Necromancers can raise the dead thing. Enjoy. That's nice to know that that's there, but... Um, I think that is it, in terms of what we need to do for getting ready for the final push. So, with all of the weapons, all of the jobs, all of the stuff that we can get, and all of the extra things, let's go to the void and see what awaits us. The rift. Desert. Ok. 
Okay. How bad are these? Well, these still hit like a... Um, still hit like a truck. That's good to know. They seem to be a little tougher than they were previously. Okay. Oh, more anamites. Anamite. An enemies. Oh, these aren't technically enemies, but you know what I mean. thousand years we have been sealed in the rift. Oh, there we go. This exit contains the power of the void. The new world of darkness will be reborn. This definitely has the feeling of final dungeon. So I have a feeling We've got to try and defeat all of those bosses before we face X death. Right. Do a Libra. Libra. It's a 63 foe. 3,000 health. No weaknesses. Ah. Yeah, it's the same one. Cottage, nice. So we can't do anything with those. And grenades are level forty seven foes with three thousand health with no weaknesses. Well, kind of half expected that. Yeah, I'm just. I just. I like the boss has just gone. Yeah, I'm going to ignore death. Elixir. Nice. And dark matter. I love the... I must admit, I do love the aesthetic of this place. This is very, very eerie. Oh, you need to head back down. Of course, we've got a chest over there. Oh, goody, it's level checkers again. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, level 54 level checker with no weaknesses, but 5,000 health total. Level 5 death, we are unaffected. I'm kind of thankful that Lin is a level under, because it means that if we do end up with the very unfortunate situation of everyone being um, the same level and hit with that level 5 death, at least there'll be one person to actually survive. And another elixir. Okay, I'm kind of thankful that uh, they've got all these elixirs now that um, we're hitting the end game. Blood sword. We already have a blood sword. We don't particularly want another one. Uh, sonic booms are not too bad. Paris is now leveled up again. Ooh. We're here. HP and MP restored. So we're back in the Phantom. Uh, we're back in the Phantom Village, where everyone has uh, somehow gone uh, frozen. Flames, 1600 health, no weaknesses, but the potential of actually being awkward. Yeah, that's fine, vulnerable to fire, vulnerable to water. Let's actually get rid let's get rid of that far far elo first, because that may be a problem. Vulnerable to poison. But not vulnerable to Ferris for once. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Faris, you're not allowed to hit the white flame. There we go. And Lena's leveled up. This is going to be interesting. Quick 
get around around everyone. Because I think we're going to need it, because five enemies, that's never nice. Particularly when they're something that is uh, a higher base up as a white flame. Anyway, one down, four to go. That must be where we get white flame uh, magic for. What's it called? Blue mages. That's the one. Blue mages. Oh yes, of course. Faris can't actually damage these ones. Fine. Can I equip? Defender. Just to get through this area. I must admit, I do like the fact that they do actually throw a curveball in the whole sort of uh, high powered weapons thing in the case of here are the ultimate weapons of the game. Most of them have the ability of holy. By the way, these enemies absorb holy. Enjoy! Well, we are literally just getting through the final few things. Hopefully we'll be able to get up there. I forgot to recharge my magical lamp, didn't I? Curses. Oh well, it's... I've got ten charges. And without Bahamut or Leviathan summons, but everything else should be fine. If it is a problem, we'll just... There will be some way we can get that back. Oh. I hate Noxily. It is a nasty thing to... Um, be up against, particularly, uh, particularly with uh, your um, high-powered knight. I do like the fact that Faris at least had the decency of wandering over to our side of the battlefield before, um, before passing out. And done. Well, they're awkward, but I must admit they do give a lot of experience. And that's bots up again. What ribbon? Fortunately, not useful for us. Same with the same with that litter throat. Hello, Fiestieri! Okay, reflect immediately. No worries. We have to spell. Let's start getting protect up on everyone. Actually, that's. Oh 
Okay, this is a level 68 boss. 18,000 health, no weaknesses. So just wail on it. Tuna break stop? It doesn't. Oh boy. Uh, okay. No. I think the best thing to do in this situation, actually, is actually for us to start putting Reflect on everyone. Ooh! Let's Reflect. There it is. Oh, bum! <laughs> oh, that's a nasty one. Right. You know what? You're getting Reflect. Everyone's got to reflect. Right, okay. Don't worry, we have Dispel. And that's down. A little awkward, but nothing too bad. 